Hi guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card and today I want to show you how to create a really soft background that will put the focus on a central image. I am going to be using this super cute unicorn from Stamping Bella and also the sentiment have a magical day, which will go there. And of course I'll also be using the die because I'm way too lazy, too fuzzy cut. I have to just admit to that. So I'm starting out by um, masking off the border here on my on the front of the card base um, because I don't want the color to go there and I've laid out the elements that I'm going to be using just so I have a rough idea where I need to put the color. I'm using distressings here with uh, normal distress blending tools and I'm trying to create a soft um, blend between orange and pinkish tones and slowly blend that out to the right so it gets lighter. And I'm also using drops of water. This is just a mister. Um, this is, it's plain water and I'm just using this, I don't know, I'm just taking it apart a little bit here to put drops of water onto my um, distressing. And since that reacts with water, you can see the nice effect you get um, if you just give it a few seconds to react. I'm using a clean paper towel to dab off the water and you can see that I can create this really really neat pattern here. It doesn't take any skill, it doesn't take any effort, it just takes a few seconds of your patient, patience. And then I set this aside to dry completely. I stamped the unicorn with my favorite things hybrid licorice ink on Simon's stamp heavy cardstock because I prefer that for coloring and then I'm doing my normal coloring process and actually this technique is the same technique I use for folds in, in dresses for example where I start out with the um, dark uh, purple color and then blend my way towards a lighter pink and by curving this um, this slightly um, those of you who've taken my Altenew, uh, my recent Altenew for the love of color class I refer to this as the triangle technique um, you can see just how neatly I can create the impression that these are actually f like folds of hair that overlap one another if you're interested in all these um, coloring details, I can really recommend to you the coloring classes by Kit and Clouder. There's going to be a link in the video description below because I have learned all my coloring skills from Elise from Kit and Clouder um, because she's just the best at teaching. So I just adapted the techniques that she has shown in her classes. Um, like I said, especially like for clothes and for folds to use on the mane or the, the tail here as well because I'm not really good with like actual hair coloring like with strands of hair. I'm still practicing that. Um, so I just adapted another technique and it works absolutely fine here. I'm using um, my Twin Touch markers because I have the Twin Touch markers in a blue-gray color and I just wanted to use that particular shade. They are basically the same as the Copic. Um, as the Copic markers um, and I'm just adding some detail here and then blending out towards a lighter color. You can see that I'm very careful here. Uh, I have a very very light touch to make sure I'm not applying too much color. I'm just blending this out a little bit so the unicorn isn't completely white but there's a little bit of gray in the shadow areas so it looks a little bit um, richer, a little bit more detailed than if I would have just left it entirely white. You can see that I'm blending this out here, softening everything so it looks a little bit nicer. I use the die to die cut out the unicorn. You can see how nice it looks and I'm carefully pulling away the painter's tape and you can see the nice sharp edge I get here as a border. And now because uh, it happened to me recently, as you have probably seen that I stamped a sentiment upside down. So now before I'm doing this, I'm going to, you know, stamp it on a piece of scratch paper. That is not just to make sure it's not upside down, but also to make sure that it is straight. Because I really do not want this to happen to me again. Um, I'm, I'm trying to learn my lessons and not to repeat them. I'm not always successful, but I'm really trying. I'm using VersaFine ink here. Just pressing this down carefully. And yay, it's not upside down and it is and it is straight, at least, you know, mostly straight, but straight enough for my purposes, um, which means I can just use it like this. There we go, adding a little bit more ink and now I'm stamping it onto my card base here. There we go. And I'm not pressing down too hard because I don't want the letters to like, you know, smoosh. Just have one of nice sharp images and here we go. I'm after I applied the unicorn with some foam tape to the card base, I used my Stardust pen to uh, add some shimmer to the 
unicorn of the unicorn and then I'm using the glaze pen to add some black dots because it's a really nice sharp contrast the black against the soft background that I've created here we go here's the close-up and I hope you got inspired um, to try out coloring like a white body um, adding some shade and coloring some hair or some manes of animals if you've liked this video leave me a comment subscribe i have some more videos to come up for you so i hope to see you again soon bye bye